we've got the car in now. Uh, it is the pa passenger side that has some rust on the on the rear arch. So we're going to be sorting that out. So here you can see there's not too much on it. Not nothing compared to like the Civic or the MX-5. Just a little bit here. So we've got it bubbling up here. Uh, along here as well. And then I've got quite a bit more here. It looks probably completely got a hole completely in there. And there's probably more under this uh, mud flap as well, most likely. We got the arch here, so we can we can use that and just uh, weld that in. So I'm just going to go ahead, jack it off, take the wheel off, take the mud flap off, and then start clearing away at the rust and see how much of the metal we have to cut out. So as you can see, I have just got the metal all cut, uh, all the rusted out metal cut out. We have the inner sill. So what I had to do is I just cut, and then he also removed all the spot welds from uh, the inner piece here, which connects to the inner inner arch. I didn't have the actual drill bit, so I just had to I had to just use the the grinder just to grind down. Uh, all the spots enough for for us to be able to lift the outer arch away from the inner I did clean it up a bit as well on the inner arch because there was a bit of rust here So now we're down to bare metal and just cleaned it all up But it's uh, all the inner arch is pretty solid So so what I'm gonna do now is get the create not a create a template from the part that's bit I cut out uh, draw the template on the metal the new metal panel replacement and then we'll be able to cut out the exact area that I uh, cut out on the car. And then we can take that metal. Uh, and then we'll hopefully it will be a perfect fit. And we should be able to then get it all welded up and back together. <laughs> the metal all uh, cut out and it is almost a perfect fit so it's sitting nice and uh, flush with the uh, other panel uh, we just need to uh, trim it down a bit so so I cut it a bit too big just in case so I can trim it down would rather go a bit bigger than uh, rather than it having it been too 
too sh short and then once that's a perfect fit we can go ahead and remove uh, removing the paint here so we get a nice clean metal surface so we can start the welding <laughs> Okay, so I've got everything uh, all welded in and um, we also just put on the epoxy primer. So what I did uh, for the metal, I just uh, welded it uh, and got it as flush as I could. So ground it down and everything was pretty smooth as possible. I'm just going to let that dry. I'm going to have to put some filler on because there is already filler on this on this area. So I'm going to have to just build it back up a bit. There's not much filler on it, so that's good. So I'm just going to have to put a little bit of filler on and then smooth it down and then just give it a little bit of primer So I got everything sanded down, uh, all the filler, we had to just put on the filler because uh, there's a load of filler at the front here so we had to just blend it in and put filler on. I just put on the primer there just to cover up and see if there's any dips or anything but so far it looks all pretty good. So I'm just going to let this dry and then once that dry just give it a little quick sand uh, and see how it looks once that's completely dry. <laughs> Thank you.
Right, so I got the car finished. Uh, pretty much all welded up. I got it all welded up and it's ready to go. So that's pretty much it for this video. Just a quick video. I'm um, just doing a bit of rust repair. Yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.